If we're talking national security, we have to talk about cybersecurity. We live so much of our lives online and on our phones. We are constantly at risk of being impacted by a cyber attack. But now the White House is taking new steps in hopes of protecting us. And Maya Rodriguez shows us a new tool that we can use to help plan ahead. As Russia wages war on the ground in Ukraine, there's another war taking shape in cyberspace. One with the potential to cripple real world systems people rely on. You gotta remember in the cyber world, critical infrastructure, water, power, transport, 85% of it is privately run. So it can't just be a government only security fence. That security fence in the online world, experts say, requires everyone to help maintain it. It's not only attacks on well-known websites, but it's attacks on individuals and small businesses as well. Anton Debora is executive director of the Johns Hopkins University Information Security Institute. They monitor the potential of nations to launch cyber attacks against other nations. Right now, the Institute's heat index lists a high likelihood of Russia launching a cyber attack against the U.S. and its allies, in part because of the sanctions leveled by the U.S. and its allies against Russia. Pretty much anybody that has a computer is vulnerable. Because of that, Deborah says now is the time to take action to protect your online footprint. There are pretty easy things that really uh, decrease your level of vulnerability significantly. First, make sure you have a strong password. Back up any files on your computer and smartphone and make sure your software and operating systems are up to date. Experts say think about taking steps to protect your computer and smartphone the same way you would for your home. You know, you install cameras, you install a, a reasonable burglar alarm, then the bad guys probably aren't going to go to your house. They're probably just going to keep keep going. So that's that's where you want to be in the cyber world as well. As the real world and the cyber world become equally vulnerable and intricately linked. In Washington, I'm Maya Rodriguez. That will do it for our conversation about national security. Join us next week. Our topic is housing. We go to a place where nearly four years after a deadly wildfire, advocates say hundreds of people are still displaced. Until then, I'm Chris Stewart, and this is The Race.